Clear skies over Dodger Stadium in L.A. Today we wrap up this four-game weekend series between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Los Angeles Dodgers. The Dodgers look for the series sweep at home against their division rivals. First pitch is next. Rich Hill, a left-hander from Massachusetts, will be doing the starting pitching here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, taking a look at the numbers, you see that ERA a little under four last season. But I think his team and organization, they're expecting some bigger and better things out of him this year. We'll see if he can get off to a better start in this one. Digging in, Cattell Marte. He will lead this one off today. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And it's fouled away. Zero, Danny, this L.A. Dodger ball club as they enter play here this afternoon. It's so far so good as they enter play 3-0 and on the young season. Yeah, Matty V, we're talking about a team that is white hot right now. D. Rowe, they've won the first three games of this four-game series. They'd like nothing more than d Rowe win this one here and finish it off to a nice 4-0 series. Yeah, you take the first three in a series, you want to step on their throat right here. You don't get a chance too many times to take four games from somebody. They have that opportunity in front of them today. With that, the batting order for the visiting Arizona Diamondbacks. Mark, what do you have on this lineup as they go for their first win? Well, Matt, this goes for both lineups. They know they're dealing with a tough test in a pitcher's park, but they can't let that bother them too bad, or they'll walk out of here three, four games set, 0 for 12, 0 for 15. They have to find a way to stay within themselves, line One drive one. approach. One will carry out of here if they get it. That curveball is a pitch you have to get on top of or else it'll take off just like that one did. Turner ranging into shallow right. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. In now, David Peralta. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double Aye. in the ball game last night. Strike one to start the at bat. Might have been cheating for another fastball trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. Verdugo waits on it. He makes the play and that'll end the inning. Taiwan Walker gets the start for Arizona in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, we're looking at a guy that knows how to pitch. Last year, his ERA was just under 3.5 for the season, and I would imagine going into the offseason, he's looking to better that, and hopefully he gets off to a good start, and we'll see if that starts in this one today. Into the box now, David Fries. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here comes the first pitch. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Well, guys, these Diamondbacks, as they begin play, they come in in a real funk to start the year. Still searching for what's been an elusive first win. Yeah, Matt, they nope. have to avoid okay. the sweep right here, especially a four-game sweep. That can be devastating to the psyche of a team. It's okay. I, it happens. Throughout the course of a season, you're going to drop three oh, in a row. Out. But to get pounded four games by the same team can happen. The 2-1. It's a fastball that misses. He's only four pitches in, but he doesn't look too sharp to start the day off. Takes this the other way to right, and a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Hey, after the leadoff knock right there, you know what they say. You get that leadoff guy on, I don't care how it's done. He usually comes around to score, but let's tip our hat to the pitcher. He set the tone in the top of the first, retiring him in order. Standing in now, Chris Taylor, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Comes set with the 0-1. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Freeze on the first, nobody out. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Oh, 
Working for the punch out and the offering. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. Got him. Time now to check out how the hometown Dodgers line up in this one. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Well, I know these guys love what Justin Turner brings to their offense. He's having a good series against these guys so far. He's been a huge factor, particularly driving in runs. He's already driven in five in this series so far. So clutch situations with guys on base, this is the guy to watch. Next up for Los Angeles, Jock Peterson. First pitch on its way. A oh, ball and no strikes. Now, I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline. So if he puts a ground ball in play, the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. Hit out towards second. The second for one. Relay to first oh. in time. And just like that, the side is retired. On to the second now at Dodger Stadium with no score. Coming to the plate now, Wilmer Flores. He'll start things out in the top half of the second. No balls and a strike to count. Today's contest is, of course, the finale of the series, and the home side has dominated so far. They've got the opportunity to complete the sweep with a win in this one. This team going for the sweep is looking for some home cooking. It's always nice to win a series, but particularly nice when you can sweep a series at home. The one two is a slider oh, taken for a ball. Tried to work in the backdoor breaking ball there for a strikeout, but he just couldn't quite get it to come back to the corner. That's a really tough pitch to hit if you can spot it. Here now the two two is looked at and the count moves full. Really high curveball right there. Struggling with the release point. That's the key to the curveball. Figuring out and finding that release point. Bellinger has a play. One out. All right, guys, here's the defensive alignment for the Los Angeles Dodgers. In the infield, Justin Turner. Versatile, can dabble at short, second, third. I'm sure he can play first base. Also has found a fountain of youth on the offensive side. Crushing balls all over the park. Souza. A native of Washington, the Evergreen State. He was selected in the third round back in the draft of 2007. One yeah, one. he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? Two they didn't miss with this pick, pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. And a big swing and a miss here, two, two strikes. strikes. Hey, from a pitcher's standpoint, sometimes the greatest pitch is the slider that backs up. He got away with that one, but he wants that thing to bury down the way. On the ground to third. Throw on to got first, him. two gone. So striding in, Nick Ahmed is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Taylor coming on. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Diamondbacks down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. At the plate, Justin Turner. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First pitch of the at-bat. Hit back up the middle. Ahmed to his left. He's got it. And that's the first out. Okay, here's how the Snakes are lining up defensively. And this team's lucky enough to have their gold glover play shortstop. The captain of the infield. And the offense knows if the ball's hitting his direction, you can pretty much take the right-hand turn and go back to your dugout. Not only the routine ones, but the highlight reel ones as well. Now here's the pitch. Travel. The 0-1 on its way. 
This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Marte is there now, and he has it. Two gone. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Oh, and an ugly swing there. It's 0-1. Oh, the count. Ugly swing right there. That pitch wasn't even close. You could tell this guy's been in the swing mode from the minute he walked into the batter's box. And he fouls this one off. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Fouled away. Bottom of the second here with no score. Tried to get him to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes. So the intent of that 0-2 cutter right there isn't necessarily to get a swinging strike. If you get it, well, hey, that's great. But if you get it inside enough and he does make contact, he probably can't do anything with it anyway. Splitter, two and two. two and two. And you know what? Give this guy some credit up there because this had the look of being a very quick inning. He's been able to stretch this at bat. Ah. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. One. So striding forward now, Christian Walker. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. One ball and one strike to the Diamondbacks' first baseman. You know, from an offensive standpoint, they already knew they had their work cut out for him against a great pitcher. But there's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. A solo shot here to left. First home run of the campaign for him. And the Diamondbacks strike first. It's one to nothing. After this pitcher sat down six of his teammates in a row, he was looking to break through against him with anything. Well, the home run will definitely suffice. Great job of breaking the string and getting his team going right there. Here's the catcher, Alex Avila, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. His career batting line against Hill. He's hitless in three at-bats. Lifted down the line in left. On the move is Peterson. He's there and records the first out. Digging in now, Taiwan Walker. Taiwan Walker. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. He oh, looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0-2. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Yeah, and they set him up with that curveball on the pitch before, and that one, they just blew right by him. And they could go either way now, I suppose. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Boy, are you talking about a cardinal sin for any pitcher to give an opposing pitcher to give a base hit, Dero, on an 0-2 pitch? Yeah, that's got to be so frustrating, the way this guy's been executing. But you know what? Tip your hat to the pitcher. Stuck his nose in there, kept the front shoulder tough, and found a way to get himself a knock. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A high fastball is in there. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's Outside, offered very ball. little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Oh, high that time with the slider taken for a ball. After two breaking pitches, there's a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing it. So if you're looking... And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Diamondbacks hit the board first thanks to this solo home. Striding into the box, TK Hernandez, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. On the corner at the knees, 0-1. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. Souza is under it. One out. So with one away, it's time to give you a good look at the standings out west in the National League as you see where the Diamondbacks sit entering play here today. Hey, 
run. Swung on and missed for the first strike. After taking such an ugly swing, if I'm the batter right now, it has to be in the back of my mind that he might repeat that exact same pitch. Back up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch no your pitcher. lips right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. Walker removed to first, and he'll dive back in. Into the box, Rich Hill trying to bunt his way aboard, but this will get foul. Barnes, base runner at first with one out. Now a throw over, no, and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Here comes the 0-1. Now a late bunt attempt here, but he misses strike two. As a look, now the pitch. Pitch strike three called, the throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get... Ready for another chance. David Peralta, he flew out in his last at-bat. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. He's been pitching really well so far in this one as we cruise into the middle innings. One of the big reasons why, 80% first pitch strike ratio. If he continues that, he might be able to finish this one. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. In tight with the slider, two and two. You know, these kind of at-bats can drive you crazy when you're on the mound. I mean, he's been ahead of him pretty much the whole time, but he just can't put him away. Not only that, but it's costing him a lot of bullets. Peterson comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, the utility man, Wilmer Flores. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. First pitch Whoa, fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Taylor, the range to his left, and put it away. Two down. So two are gone now in the Diamondbacks' fourth, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Steven Souza Jr. Called a strike on the outer half. 0 and 1. One run, two hits, no errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Line shot to third, and the side is retired. At the plate, David Fries. He reached on a single in his first try. First delivery to him on the way. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and a pitch in the one dirt as he lays right. off. It's 1-1. One and one. The 1-2. One Misses ball two. He's got him on the ropes at two and two, but I don't think he'll try to get him out with another curveball. He's seen it already a couple of times, so it's not going to surprise him anymore. Hit hard on the ground to second. Flores gets down to make a great play. Wow. One gun now in the Dodger fourth, and in the hit next, it'll be the ever versatile Chris Taylor. In there, 0 and 1. 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now.
Trying to send him packing for the second time. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. No runs, two hits, no errors for the Dodgers thus far. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. So bases are empty here with two gone and in steps a former World Series hero the outfielder Jock Peterson. First offering on its way. Line drive to center field into the slide and he comes up with a great catch to end the inning. A fine sliding catch here will take us to break. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. So stepping in, Nick Ahmed, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Check swing and a pop up now to the left side. And Freese will put this away, no problem for the first out. Now to the plate, Christian Walker. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. And that's by him. It's 0 and 1. Two quick outs in this inning so far. His pitch count is really down. I think one of the keys is he's been attacking the strike zone early on, Aye. making these guys swing the bat so far in this one. Behind 0-2 now. And he'll nope. try to get him to that chase the that. fastball there, but he lays off 1-2. and two. Boy, it's hard to sit on an 0-2 fastball. I think that pitch just locked him up a bit. But lucky for him, it was just a little out of the zone. Here he comes again, 1-2. This is in the air to center. Does he have another 1-2-3 for the ledger? He does. Eight in a row he's set down. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Line toward right center. But this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Here's the first pitch to him. Line drive to center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. Both of them hit on the absolute screws. One's right at one guy, and then one's a single. Go big. Walker removed to first, and he's back standing. Into the box now, Alex Verdugo. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. Verdugo is simply an all-around great defensive outfielder. Not only does he have great range and great hands, he's also got a plus on, arm, go, one that go. base runners and base coaches oh, certainly good. have to be mindful of. Not going to get him as he swipes second. The 
the 1-2 is looked at for ball number two. Bellinger, the runner at second with one away. Two-two pitch is fouled away. Hit down the line at first, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. The two-two one more time. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Liner toward right center. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. He pulls into second safely as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. So a runner aboard at second here with one away. And that means the plug-and-play utility man, Kike Hernandez, will bat next. He's set and the pitch. Couldn't resist on that one, and he's behind nothing in one. Yeah, Maddie. not only is this guy using all four quadrants, he's elevating, getting their eye level up with a quality fastball. Oh, this misses the outside down. corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. I like that they went away with that pitch right there. They really tried to tie him up on that previous pitch, so he was probably what we call inside conscious. He didn't get a strike there, but I'm guessing one he strike. was looking for another ball in. Ball taken there. Two and one now. Now the 2-1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Marte moves over. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. No, and tight. he'll make it up to third on the fly ball as he's in there now with two away. So a man at third here with two gone. And the catcher, Austin Barnes, will dig into bat next. Now a curveball knocked down at home plate. And not in time as the run scores. And a disastrous time to uncork a wild pitch as the go-ahead run scores from third. The 1-1 one, one home. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Two out, nobody on. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, and here's Flores to make the catch, and the side is retired. Back now for the start of the sixth inning, and we send it down to Heidi Watney. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Tori Lavello about the Diamondbacks' offensive production. And flat out, he told me they just need to put better swings on the ball right now. They're struggling to drive the baseball into the gaps right now, as only one of their hits has been for extra bases. That makes it pretty tough to generate runs. But he said it's up to everyone in the lineup to make the necessary adjustments. It hasn't gone their way to this point, but that shouldn't mean they can't put together some great swings the rest of the way. All right, thanks, Heidi. Now back to the top of the lineup, Cattell. stepping in, Cattell Marte. He's been a little unfortunate so far with a couple of hard-hit balls that have resulted in lineouts. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Grounder down the line at third. And now a jump throw against his body. Throw got him, and that's a gorgeous play. So two away for the D-backs here in the sixth. And that will bring up Eduardo Escobar. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. Hey, you can tell by the look on that manager's face, he's obviously frustrated right now. But it's a long season. You're going to have a swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. And this will find the wall in the very deepest part of the yard. He's around second now, and they still haven't gotten to this thing. And he is in to third with a two-out triple. And that's the chance you take when you lay out for a ball like that. You make the play, and you're a hero on the highlight shows. You miss it, and you're picking yourself up and chasing after it. 
Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. In there, and it's 0-1. You know, you look at this hitter. He doesn't care about being down 0-1. He doesn't care about having two strikes with him. He's got the utmost confidence in his ability to work back into the count. And get Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. And to score from third, the tying run. You know, D-Row, there are certain hitters that just love to come up and clutch two-out RBI situations, and this guy certainly is one of those guys. Yeah, they're able to slow the moment down. It's not for everybody. This guy has ice water in his veins consistently coming through in big spots. Nice job right there to tie this one up. First pitch of the at-bat. Good pitch there. Called a strike on the inside corner. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And so here's the Dodgers pitcher, Rich Hill. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Max Muncy is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number 6. Starts things with a splitter outside for ball 1. The 1 0 home. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Now the 1 and 1 pitch is outside for a ball. They're going to probably stay away from this guy. He's got so much power. You don't want to miss over the heart of the plate. But I think when pitchers try to be too cute on that outside corner, they might leak one a little bit inside. And this is where that guy would jump on it. Two and two count. Here it comes. And it's up to a three two full count now. On deck, there you see David Freeze. He'll be next. Now the three and two pitch. Yanked on the ground down the line. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And that one misses. So the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the six. Ready for another shot now. David Freeze, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. First pitch on its way. And that's in there for strike one. This guy's been on cruise control as we head into the middle innings of this one. And one of the big factors why, how about 80% of his first pitches have been for strikes. One and one to the Dodgers leadoff man. That's ball, A dude. little bit outside. Count two and two one. one. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. The relay throw on to oh. first, and they get the double play. <laughs> Stepping up to the play, Chris Taylor. Walker steps into his windup. Here's the first pitch. Fouled off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Flores is there. And that retires the side. So they go quietly here in this. Dylan Floro is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. He's ready. Here's the first offering. First pitch sinker misses in on the hands that time. It's a ball and no strikes. Well, count now 1-0 and oh with a real good slugger up at the plate. This is the time as a pitcher you have to really make some good pitches. This is not the time to just groove one right down the middle. Peterson is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Digging in, Nick Ahmed. Oh, for two for him so far. He's flied out and popped out. Outside part of the plate, the changeup is in there. One out, nobody on. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 2. Hey, he caught him off guard right there. I like that pitch. 
High fastball executed. I know he's known for the sinker ball, but if he can get some eye levels up and down, he's going to have some success. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Nick Ahmed goes down for out number two in the top half. No balls in one strike. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Peterson has a read on it. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. Here's Josh Peterson now. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the result sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Here comes the 0 1. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Justin Turner. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And that misses for ball one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Yeah. A ball and a strike. Hey, that's yeah, a well-executed fastball right there at the bottom of the zone. If he stays there all day, it's going to make for a long day for the offense. Ball Unless two. they're willing to bend their legs two and one. get down and create some different launch angle, he's on point right now. Now the 2-1. This is popped up. Flores is under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So that'll bring in the National League rookie home run record holder Cody Bellinger. Walker gets the sign. Here it comes. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. And as Dodger fans have heard for years, she is out of here. I know height sights 2020, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Matt Andrees will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Lamb is up with it oh. and not too shabby out of the pen. Takes just two pitches to get the ground ball and that ends the inning. One for the Dodgers on the. Leading off the inning, Alex Avila, and they'll need him to get something going here. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And it's fouled away. Pitch on its way to Avila. Aye. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. The Dodgers leading by the slimmest of margins late in this one and trying to hang on and earn the series sweep. One of the keys if you want to sweep a team is you're going to have to get some big outs in that seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. They're leading by a run as we're going towards the end of this game. Now it's time for the pitching staff to put this one under wraps. First pitch of the at-bat. Well-thrown sinker that time down, but in the strike zone. This one, everything we could have hoped for, three to two in inning number eight. One and one, one to and count one. to Jake Lamb. And he fouls this one off. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. There's a good slider down and in at that back foot. That's a tough pitch to lay off as a hitter. And a great pitch as a pitcher. That's one of those. How could he not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. So he notched the backwards K on that one. Jake Lamb is sent packing for the second out of the inning. In now, Patel Marte lifted down the line in left. Peterson on the run. 
He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. So one, two, three go the Diamondbacks. They're down three to two. Stepping in, Kike Hernandez. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. First pitch coming. Here it is. Pitch popped up. Lamb in foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. 0 1 count. Here's the pitch. Drilled on the ground to short. Throw on to first. And one shortstop grounds out to the other. One away. Ready once again, Austin Barnes. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Tough to do much with that one. A swing and a miss. I can't speak from experience, but that's got to feel good right there. Throwing a nasty changeup first pitch and getting a swing and a miss on it. Now he pretty much opened up any pitch in his arsenal. And yeah, the underhanded oh. throw gets him for the out. A.J. Pollock will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0-2. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. Count is one and two now. The one two is in Whoa, off the plate. Inside. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Craig Kimbrell comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Eduardo Escobar standing in. He made it to third on a triple in his previous appearance. Fouled away. Swung on and missed. That's strike two. Hit out towards second. And that is Byam on into center field. So good hitting on 0-2 nets him a leadoff single. The leadoff hitter finds his way on base. Should be interesting to see the cat and mouse with the manager. Does he use the bunt right here? Do we put a little hit and run on? Do we go old school, new school, and just let him swing away? Should be interesting. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. You'd think they'd stop pitching to this guy by now. He's been torching them all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over, so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force play is now in order. Well, they felt it was better to take the bat out of the hands of a guy like that. He's just too dangerous, and they decided they'll take their chances with the next guy in the lineup. Popped him up. Bellinger over to his left, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So striding in, Nick Ahmed, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Owen won the count. Ball, ball one. Up inside. One out with the possible tying and go-ahead runs on base here. Ball. Fastball close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. With the infield back and a runner at third, he's definitely pitching for a strikeout or maybe something like a harmless pop-up. You could see it from that high fastball, but that was just a good job of laying off that pitch. Fouled off. Hey, he looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there. The body can go a little bit. If he was able to keep his hands back a little bit, he might have been able to do some damage with that pitch. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Nick Ahmed is retired, and now they're down to their final out in this one. In his career, Joseph 
He's slugging a little under the 400 mark, so the chances of his connecting with the ball right oh, here God, aren't God. particularly good. 2 0 now. Cold strike on the change, 2 and 1. Love the pitch call there, 2 0. You know the guy's geared up for a fastball, and you drop a change up in the zone, that's going to be a tough pitch to handle. Arizona down to its last strike. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Big spot. Two out. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is foul near the seats. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Okay. Three and two. And now the carousel will be in motion here with two away. Well, you don't want to get caught looking for the final out. That hangs a K to end it as the Dodgers complete the four-game sweep of their division rivals at home. Wow, that ninth inning was unbelievable. They load the bases with the tying run at third and the go-ahead run on second, but they can't find a way to bring them home. So close but yet so far. A one-run game this afternoon, 3-2 to two, the final finish.